Hello everyone. My name is Gananjay Reddy Mande. I'm part of Informatica GCS team. As part of today's presentation, we are going to see Hive connection in CDI. Today's agenda is steps on server side demo, creating connection from ISUS console demo. Steps on server side. There are three main steps on the server side. First, you need to download the configuration files from the Hadoop cluster. Second, configuration Hive connector to download the distribution specific Hive libraries. Third, access a Kerberos or TLS enabled Hadoop cluster. That step is optional only if you are trying to connect to Kerberos or TLS enabled cluster. Moving to the demo part. Uh, let's go through the steps mentioned in the document first. First one is we need to download the configuration files from the Hadoop cluster. I have already downloaded the configuration files and placed it in a folder in Secure Agent. You need to create one folder and place all the configuration files from the cluster as mentioned in the document. Next step is to download the distribution specific uh, jars. For that, you need to follow these steps and run the script file from the secure agent mission. If your secure agent mission doesn't have internet, you can uh, copy the folder of the secure agent mission and run it outside and copy the files back. Here are the steps of mission if you are running it uh, from other mission if the secure agent mission does not have the internet. Uh, let's follow these steps and download the jars. I am moving to the secure agent mission because these steps needs to be performed in secure agent. First, we need to go to the secure agent root directory. Now I am in secure agent root directory. Now I need to go inside downloads, package, hive, the version will be different uh, in the latest versions. Package, Hive, third party, Informatica, Hive, scripts. Here you can see a script file. You need to run this script file. Please copy your secure agent root directory because it will ask if you are uh, when you run the script. Let's run the script file. Once you run the script file, it will ask for two options, CDI or CDIE. In this uh, presentation, we are creating a connection for CDI. So I'm selecting one. Now we need to select which Hadoop distribution we are using. Uh, Currently, I'm trying to create a Hive connection for HTTP 3 runs, so I'm selecting two. Now, I, this asking like whether you are installing in the secure agent mission or you are running the script outside, I am running it in secure agent mission, so I'm selecting yes. Uh, here is ask for secure agent root directory. Uh, we need to provide the path. Once you provide the path, it will connect to the respective distribution repository and download all the required jobs uh, which are required to connect to the Hive. Yeah, as you can see, the script ran completed successfully and all the required jobs are downloaded. Uh, you can verify this path where all the jobs are present or not. Yeah, we can see all the required jobs are present. And after running the script, you have one more step, like you need to set the custom property at the data integration service. Um, this one, for this one, you need to go to your uh, admin console and select the data integration service and type as DTM and set this custom property in for how to this one in HTTP 3.1. Uh, since I am using HTTP 3.1, I have set for it. Uh, you can go through the steps for more details. Uh, 
after uh, you set it you need to restart the secure engine mission yeah and the next step is the third step like if you are connecting to a Kerberos or TLS enable Hadoop cluster and it is a optional step for this you need to first copy the krb5.conf con file and place it in slash etc krb 5conf and secure agent jdk jrg lib security folder and you also need to import the kita file into the agent location uh, and uh, these steps needs to be performed from secure agent so i'm moving to secure agent um i have already downloaded the krb5.conf and kitab file here you can see like i uh, have the kitab file present over here and i have already copied the krb5.conf file to slash etc yeah here you can see the krb file.conf file is present and also we need to pass it inside secure agent secure agent jdk jre leaf security yeah here you can see the kb5 down count file is present now oh, please give full permissions for the user if the cluster is tls enabled then you need to perform these steps as well and after performing you need to restart the secure agent mission to get the changes done yeah let's move on now the next step is like creating connection from informatica iscs console uh, now i am moving to the iscs console yeah here you can see i am in iscs console i have already created one connection here you see this is the connection name and type you need to select it as hive connector and runtime environment you need to select which one you are using i'm using my runtime environment and authentication type you have card bros held up i'm using card bros authentication so i have selected card bros and for more details for the properties you can check in the guide Here you can go through the more details about the properties. Uh, for JDBC URL, uh, this is the JDBC URL uh, format which you need to use. Uh, I have already added the JDBC URL. The driver will be picked automatically. Then you need to pass your principal name for which if you are using Kerberos and kitab location where it is present on the secure agent machine and the configuration files where all set xml files from the cluster project uh, dfs url you can get it from the corset.xml file as mentioned in the document and the dfs staging directory where the temporary hive tables uh, will be stored and database uh, hive staging database where the temporary hive stables is stored uh, these details you need to fill and once you fill all the required details you can perform the test connection yeah as you can see the test connection is successful now let's move back to the presentation yeah these are the references for the document which i have shared over this presentation and we would like to hear from you on our social media handlers please feel free to update your comments over there thank you all